A warm welcome to everyone today. We're just having a few more people coming in, so I'm going to take on another few minutes. But till then, just a very, very warm welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. And it's a very interesting um, one hour that I've planned. And I always like to kind of put in a whole lot of things in it. So a lot of uh, healing processes, tools that you can work with on your own, on yourself. Um, some of you may be absolutely new to this practice or may have a meditation practice of your own or a daily routine of your own. So you can always incorporate it into your own schedule if you like. Or if you're starting from scratch, it's uh, I'm ex going to explain it to you in a very um, simplified way. So you can actually, you know, start your practice with it. And that would be an amazing way to kind of start the year. We're still in February. So, yeah, and before I begin, just I'm going to share with you a little bit about me, uh, some known people, and I'm so happy to see you smile, Ghazala, right now. So some known faces and uh, a few who I'm not, who I've not met before. So my name is Bharti and um, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist with Illuminations and I also do a lot of energy work, a lot of chakra work. Uh, I enjoy working with all kinds of energy modalities. Is. So, yeah, today I thought, why not, you know, share with everyone who's interested to hear, who's, involved, who's keen to kind of, you know, make a difference in their own life, share some tools. And obviously, some of the tools will resonate with you, some may not. So take what works for you and uh, practice it. The key is I'm going to share quite a few tools today, which I could kind of put in in this one hour. And uh, you what works for you and if you have any questions feel free to kind of put it on the chat or even put your hand the icon on zoom and if i can see it i will you know stop right away and answer your question or the chat box of course because i'm unable to see everyone on the screen at the same time right now okay so i think we, we can begin guys let's do this okay mm, my screen is not moving one second Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So what are we doing today? We're basically looking at self healing as a way to kind of incorporate in, into your daily life, daily practice, daily schedule. Also, not necessarily something that you have to do every day on a consistent basis. There are times that some of us go through certain experiences like a trigger, like uh, anxiety, like panic, sometimes sadness, sometimes fear. So I have actually tried to put together certain tools from my practice, which I do on a regular basis, as well as what I share with my clients when I do therapy work with them. So I've put together a few tools from there and then um, I'll take it to it. So why this helps, of course, you can have a better quality of life, better sleep. Insomnia is a huge issue these days. I speak to so many people on a regular basis and so many people have sleep issues. So, you know, to beat all that kind of stress, uh, stronger immunity, that's one of the key things we're looking at right now. A lot of people have gone through the COVID infection. A lot of people have fear of it. A lot of people have recovered, but are noticing that somewhere they are feeling weak in their body or they are kind of... Um, you know still feeling vulnerable so a few tools for immunity building as well a um, lot of people have been mentioning recently and i'm giving you what i've been hearing through therapy through talking to my clients people are not being able to focus many people have said that you know we feel very cloudy we feel very foggy so something to help you with your a little bit more clear thinking to increase your energy to kind of um, you know boost your productivity and to just remain more, more happier, more joyful in a day-to-day -day basis. Now, those of you who have been, you know, patient with me all these years that I've been doing work with illuminations, you would know this is my favorite slide because this is the premise of everything that we do. That everything that's happening around you, whether it's the trigger, whether it's the the good stuff, whether it's the bad stuff, it's all because of what you are holding within you. What are the thoughts you're holding? What are the beliefs? What are the patterns? All of that is manifesting and unfolding in front of you. So even when we do all of these healing tools that I'm gonna work with you now, the kind of thought, trust, faith that you with it would then determine the result that you find with it. Okay, so it's not only about do implementing stuff, but it's about doing it with the right space in your mind. 
So give it a shot and uh, try to change the way your patterns are about things before you adopt anything new that you take on. So the three components for all the self-healing tools that are put together would include your mind, your energy and emotions, and of course your body, because these are the three elements that help you to go through life, that make you feel the way you feel, that make you experience things the way you experience physical reality in your physical body. So I'm going to work with a lot of energy work here. Okay, a lot of energy work and the mind I would hope and I would invite you to try and keep an open mind and to try and work with the premise that when you shift the way you think about things, the things that you want should shift will shift. Okay, so just keep that at the back of your mind and that should kind of help us as well. So one of the key things for any kind of practice is breath work because your breath is literally the gateway to your inner world. Whenever you have any kind of intense emotion, the first thing you will notice is your breathing pattern shifts. So if you're really relieved, you really kind of gush and go, ah. Okay, when suddenly you get really stressed on something, your heartbeat, your breath rate kind of increases, your breath becomes very, very fast. Okay, so the gateway to your inner world is through your breath. Now, I have shared a couple of simple breathing techniques here. One of the most easiest, common and most practiced one is the cleansing breath. This helps to kind of just, you know, release the day's tension, release any kind of um, things that you may have picked up, negativity, stress, anger. And it's done very simply. And as I'm going through it, I would invite you to even do the breath work. Okay, so maybe we can all just do seven rounds of cleansing breath. Okay, and cleansing breath is easy. You don't need to count. No, nothing required. Just breathe in through your nose. Take in the pure positive energy and then exhale through your mouth. And if you can close your eyes while doing that, you will probably experience the flow of the breath even better. Okay, so that's one thing that you can uh, start by doing. Let's do about seven rounds. It will be really helpful because we have a lot of tools that we are going through. So just breathing in through the nose and releasing all the stress, the tension of the day. Breathing in through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. And as you breathe now, guys, just try and notice that you are not uh, lifting your shoulders or straining your neck as you inhale. And um, also notice that you are not uh, sinking into your lower back and creating a pressure over there. So just keep your body light, breathe in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Two more rounds in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Finally, in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And then slowly and gently open your eyes and just notice if you are feeling anything different, whether you feel a little bit more calm. And if you do about say um, three cycles with seven rounds each, that would be amazing. You will actually start to feel a lot better. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. Equal breathing is when you, depending on your own capacity and your practice, you breathe in and you breathe out to the same count. So you can breathe in to a count of five and then exhale to a count of five. Uh, if you feel that's very easy for you and you've been having a lot of yoga practice or you know, you've been uh, doing a lot of breath work, take it to a higher number. See what's comfortable for you without straining the body. Many a times we try to hold our breath deep, but if you notice, we try to, we, we build up tension around the shoulders, around the chest, the rib cage. Don't do that. So just breathe into what's comfortable. There's no competition. There's no who gets the highest count. See what works for you and your body. Okay, so that helps to kind of stabilize your mood, your emotions and everything. 
that's another thing that you can do uh, alternate nostril breath work is again very popular yogic practice uh, you know it's the pranayam that we all must have heard of and this basically you you know you you work through one nostril breathe in and then you exhale from the other side and you do a couple of rounds of this as well and i'm not going to spend much time on these because you know you will get a lot of uh, practice on this a lot of youtube videos on this that you can always refer to so just wanted to share that before you start a practice if it's a practice on a daily basis start with breath work and you choose what kind of breathing works best for you okay so that's one then Today, what are we going to be doing? We are going to be working a lot with our hands. Okay, our hands are like literally the most amazing um, tool for flowing energy through our body. If you've heard of Reiki, Pranic, Theta, the connection always comes from the higher consciousness through our hands. Our hands are that healing power that we hold and we share. Okay, so we're going to be working with the hands on key energy points and I'm going to share with you how you can use your hands for that pulsing energy if it is blocked, whether it is inconsistent and allow it to regulate a bit through your body. And that's going to help recharge your energy, that's going to help recuperate your body or regenerate your body. And if you do this on a regular basis, of course, you can use it as a one off when you are going through a situation, going through a trigger, going through a panic attack. But if it's something you do on a regular basis, you will notice that slowly your natural flow of your own energy pathways is going to start getting more and more consistent. OK, so give me a second. I just need to shift this panel to the side. Just a second. Yeah, perfect. OK. So we're going to work with our hands, like I mentioned, and I'm going to explain this to you, but for you to even benefit and to experience it, I would invite you to start working with me right now. So take your right hand and literally just um, hug your left thumb with your hand. Okay, your thumb, your right thumb can be nice and relaxed, just resting on top of your index finger and your left thumb is now enveloped, hugged by your right palm. And I'm going to ask you to just take a moment and go through that. I hope you can see me clearly. So it's basically your right hand hugging your left thumb. Don't be too tight because that's going to create stress. Don't be too disconnected because then you won't feel the pulsing. So just gently where the tips of the fingers can just touch the other you know, the base of your thumb, that entire space there. Yeah. And just hold that. And I want you to tap in. I want you to just tap in and feel any sensation, vibration, pulsing, whether you feel the texture of your hand, whether you feel any heat energy there, whether you feel you're sweating, just tune in to what you are picking up. Uh, one more thing while you're doing this, make sure unless you are sitting cross-legged in a yogic position, if you're on a chair on a bed, don't cross your ankles or your knees. Now, what does this do? This is very good for balancing energy towards our abdomen, the spleen. It helps you at an emotional level and keep holding on as I talk. It helps you to really, really kind of let go of recurring thoughts from the past. Many a times we cannot remain in the present because we are constantly in our thought world, in our causal world in the past. So when we work with the energy meridian that's flowing through here, it helps us to kind of let go of the past. It helps you when you feel stressed in the present, not because of what's happening in front of you, but because something is getting triggered from the past within. Okay, so it helps to kind of rechannel that energy at a physical level. It's a great tool to have if you're having any kind of stomach issues. So while you are, you know, waiting to pop the pill or trying to just rest it out, go ahead and hold the thumb for a few moments like this. It really, really helps to restore the energy there. 
It also helps with, since it's all about the stomach, uh, your solar plexus is right in that space. So any kind of self-esteem challenges that you have, if you're suddenly feeling very critical about yourself, if you're feeling very limited, it's a good idea to work with this energy meridian on a regular basis. And I always say minimum 21 days is what is required to really see results in anything that we do, okay? But in many moments when the energy opens up, you can see, you can feel the difference instantly as well. So this is your thumb. Now you can let go of it gently. And of course, when you're working on yourself, you can hold it for a little bit longer. Move to the index finger with me. And the index finger is all about when you are facing any kind of fear. You are fearing some news. You are very fearful of an outcome, of a result. You are fearful of something that you have to do. Okay, a lot of people these days are constantly in fear mode, fear of just something or the other, and there's no stopping. So this really helps to bring in some kind of um, like a settling feeling. Okay, it at a physical level, it works with your with your kidneys, it works with your uh, bladder, it helps to release toxins from the body. If you have been taking a lot of, um, you know, consuming toxins in many ways through maybe certain kind of processed foods or medicines, you know, or vaccines, it's a good idea to kind of work to kind of, you know, relax and release those toxins from your system. So it really helps the energy meridians here, the energy points here, holding them and feeling the pulsing. Now, right now, if you're doing this for the first time, you may not feel the pulsing so much. But I assure you that if you do this on a regular basis and you start to tune into your own energy, you will start to feel the pulsing shift. Many of my clients ask me in a one-on-one -on -one session, how do I know when to stop? So how do you know when to stop is when you start feeling the pulsing settle, when it comes becomes very, very slow. So when you start off, you may notice that there is a lot of sensation or there is a lot of pulsing happening. That's the best word that I can come up with. It's like literally pulsing or vibration. And then slowly as you keep holding it, it will start to reduce, okay? So that's for fear. Any moment you find yourself, oh my God, I'm very fearful right now, or fear is taking over me, or I'm starting to get very nervous, go ahead and use these techniques. Use the index fix, uh, finger specifically for any kind of um, fear that you kind of pick up, okay? Then let's move to the middle finger. Now the middle finger, many of us go through anger issues. And when I say anger issues, I'm not talking of clinical anger issues. It's about being short. It's about getting easily triggered, snapping, reacting, uh, all the time staying in a state of some sort of anger or resentment, okay? So anytime you feel that the better of you is not coming out, you're getting very aggressive or you're getting very offensive or defensive, go ahead and calm this entire energy meridian all the way to your liver your gallbladder this energy meridian goes okay so it really really helps you with anger it brings more um, peace into your space it, it 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 just helps to kind of calm the entire anger system in your space now are you able to see my screen i just got a message participants can see your screen now are you able to see this if someone can let me know yeah okay thank you thank you so much okay so this particular is also very good for your eyes so if you feel a lot of tension around your forehead or uh, if you feel a lot of tension around your eyes or uh, if you're worried about your eye health go ahead and every day bring this into your practice and the good part is you don't have to be in a meditative mode to be doing this you're watching tv go ahead and go through all 10 fingers while doing that okay or if you're just sitting and, you know, just hearing something on a podcast or, or just at work, for example, where you don't need to use your hands and you're just sitting in a long meeting, go ahead and work through all the fingers. So then that's your middle finger, which is all about your uh, anger and eyes, like I mentioned. It helps with any kind of issues um, uh, of uh, digestion as well. It helps with that. So you can use the middle finger for that. The next one you can move along with me is the ring finger. And when, if you feel that something causes a lot of sadness, 
you're in a good space, but you've heard something or suddenly you've recalled something and you feel your emotion literally swinging to the other spectrum. You're feeling very, very sad or you're going through some kind of grief or you feel that you're just unable to feel happy no matter what, even though everything is going right in your space, uh, maybe symptoms of depression, as we call it. It really helps to hold the ring finger and work with it. Uh, at a physical level, one of the most uh, uh, most common things that you can use it for is if you have bouts of coughing. So if you have bouts of coughing where you are just uncontrollably coughing or there is suddenly, you know, a lot of coughing that's come up in your space, go ahead, use this particular meridian to help you with it because it works through your entire lungs here. Okay, so this is going to also uh, help you. The large intestines, the lungs, they are all connected through this particular um, meridian that's going here. At a spiritual level, this even helps us to kind of heighten our intuition. Okay, so this is connected in a way that it will help you with your gut feelings as well. So use this finger even if you are trying to enhance your own intuitiveness, you're trying to get more connected with your third eye, it, it, it helps with that as well. Coming to your the last finger, which is the um, the little finger. Now, the little finger is all about trying to take on too much that you cannot be present in the moment to enjoy what you want to enjoy. Okay, when you're just taking on a whole lot of things for yourself. Okay, so it's like I'm trying to do too many things. I've got too many schedules running. I've got a very busy agenda all day long. I'm just rushing and rushing and rushing. And through the day, I just feel the day slipping away. Okay, so when you just got too much going on in your space, go ahead and use the pulsing of the little finger. This will again help with it. Also, this helps with um, uh, some physical issues like your ears. If you're having trouble with your ears, uh, it's helped even with tinnitus for some of my clients. So if you have like any kind of tinnitus, that is happening or ringing in the ears that is happening, which you can't really treat with anything. Try and see if you can uh, soften the energy uh, there with it. So just holding it and then you repeat the same for your second hand as well. Because we are constricted with time, I'm not going to go through that. But as I go along until we reach the next practice, feel free to go through the next hand. Okay, so this is very, very interesting and very easy. You don't have to remember it. You don't have to. Uh, there's, a, there's an easy way to remember this also, by the way. So that this is a technique to get re to release your worry fast. Fear, anger, sadness and to do. Okay, so and this is a very popular technique of Jinshin Jutsu and it's extremely effective and I work with it personally and like I said, I share it with many of my clients and they also have, you know, felt the benefit of it. So that's one. Um, when I work with a lot of people, they say one of the things is people tend to get nervous very fast. They feel that they get into a lot of hyper mode. They feel that, um, you know, their nervous system, their nerves are completely getting all um, stressed out. So holding this particular point, okay? So this is your thumb and this is your little thumb. And right here, this is the energy lock 17 in JSJ, we call it, okay? And if you just hold this for a few moments, so any time where you have suddenly got very nervous, you are in the company of someone or you have an agenda or you have a, um, say, a work timeline and it's making you extremely nervous, go ahead and use this particular point here. So it's just if you go from your little finger all the way towards your wrist, and right here where the wrist and the bone come to meet, it's called the SEL 17, okay? So you can work with this. Hold it for a few moments and focus on your breathing. You will notice that the whatever the symptoms of your nervousness are, for some people, it's an increased heart rate. For some people, it's very shallow breath. For some people, there's trembling. So whatever your symptoms are, as you keep breathing out, just visualize and imagine that those symptoms are leaving your space. And as you keep holding it, the whole process gets easy for you because the meridian which has become um, stuck or the meridian which has become clogged, the energy is not flowing in its natural rhythm, will start coming into more balance. Okay, so that's to calm the nervous system. 
this is very interesting one to kind of bring more balance into your own space okay many a times we feel that you know we are not aligned our yin yang our our, our, our we feel very conflicted we are unable to find uh, balance in our life we are we are constantly feeling fluttered flustered in our life so just to kind of restore that harmony within the system so this as you notice is on both sides so if you know where the bunion is if you take the toe and you just follow the toe right where the dip happens and that's where you do it so one way to do it is uh, you know you just pick up one foot and hold it finish for a few rounds and then put it down take the other foot put it on your lap and hold it there very simple very easy whether you're sitting in a bus whether you're sitting in a car whether you're sitting at home it does not matter just simply do this for a few rounds of breathing relax visualize that all the tension all that conflict is leaving you and you will see a remarkable difference in just generally feeling more balanced and stable in your space so that's another one which is very popular and extremely easy and simple to kind of work with okay uh, if anyone has any questions in between feel free to message yeah uh, let me just see if i can access that as well at the same time yeah perfect okay this is a good one for letting go of your negative thoughts and to release resistance many a times we want to do things many a times we want to feel at ease many a times we want to change things but we unknowingly hold a lot of resistance I mean, sometimes you can call it being stubborn with our own self okay we don't realize it maybe we're not being easy on ourselves maybe we've been too critical on ourselves maybe we're just not letting go of stuff if we have too many repeated negative thoughts which we consciously know should not be so just take your fingers and your your thumb should be at the base and the little finger goes all the way up towards your neck and just holding the three fingers together and the little finger a little higher up as you see in the image okay and just breathing in and out and if you notice it's a very natural tendency of the body as well whenever we get too stressed we have a tendency to hold ourselves and just look down this is not a coincidence it's because the body is very intelligent our energy is very intelligent it knows what we need to do but sometimes with our own thoughts our own minds we come in the way of its natural processes okay so by just holding the three fingers in the center the two little fingers on top and the thumb at the base just holding for a few moments it really helps to let go of record thought patterns so many times people say i just can't slow the mind down even if i want to i can't slow the mind down helps with that kind of an issue if you are going through it okay okay give me a second yeah this is a really nice one to kind of release a lot of tension to release all the congestion the thoughts that we constantly keep having a second i just made my note so i'm completely on time since it's now 10:35 okay so this one is a crown chakra one so those of you who are aware of the chakra system the crown chakra is like the highest consciousness that we have and it allows us for more clarity more connection with the divine if we believe in the divine uh, it just allows for energy to flow through it allows us to kind of be more renewed so this crown chakra energy sequence that i'm going to share with you right now is really really interesting what you start by doing is taking both your thumbs and putting them here at your temples okay and then all your fingers come together on your forehead and you can do this with me right now if you can okay and you hold it here at your entire forehead is now covered now slowly you start dragging literally putting pressure and expanding this space till your fingers meet your thumbs okay and i'm going to do it three times right now on this part so just bring it back and go ahead and start pulling okay pulling and taking it all the way to your yeah it's literally like you're creating space okay very nice i can see some of you are doing it with me that's amazing then you go to the next one we start moving from here 
back to the thumb. Go a little higher, down, excellent. Top of the crown and do it with pressure. If you, it's too light, you won't feel the effect. Literally, if you're even having a headache or you know, sometimes we feel a lot of pressure in our heads, it's a great exercise to work with. Go down towards the base of your skull, all the way down to your neck, and then just hold your palms on your shoulders. Feel the pressure, like dig in your fingers a bit so you can feel the pressure, and then let your hands swing down and literally let them swing down, like you're releasing that tension from your hands. And take a deep breath. And you can do the sequence a couple of times. So whenever you're feeling mentally bogged down, too many thoughts, too much congestion, just overthinking it. So many clients say that they're constantly in an overthinking mode. This is a beautiful process to work with. It really, really helps me. And also that foggy feeling, it helps to address that as well. Okay, I'm just gonna mute uh, everyone. Yeah, okay. So I hope that is clear, that makes sense. Okay, great. I'm gonna go, I wanna do a full process with you. So I'm going a bit faster on these. And of course you can continue to work with them, you know, once we are done with this and make a note of what works for you and what doesn't so that you have that with you. Okay, this is a very interesting one. This is basically what we call as the um, energy loop. Okay, this will help uh, because many, many times people say that I feel so disconnected between what I think I want to do and what I'm actually doing. Okay, between the thought, the vision and the actual implementation. Okay, that's a very common problem a lot of people have. Also, this helps to kind of strengthen your auric field because when you are deeply connected, the chances of you vibrating low or having scattered energies is lesser. When you are disconnected within yourself, you are all over the place. Okay, even in the English language, you say that, right? I feel so scattered, I'm all over the place. What does it mean energetically? Literally, your energy is all over the place. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to ourselves, okay? So this is an interesting interesting one where you take your middle finger so take your right middle finger place it on your navel okay and then with one hand and the second you take your um, middle finger and you place it on your third eye so you can start with your right hand place it on the middle finger of your uh, right hand on the um, uh, navel and place the middle finger of your left hand on your forehead third eye space okay and so for those who may not be aware what the third eye is, it's literally between your eyebrows above the bridge of the nose right here. Okay. The other fingers can also rest. They can be as you are comfortable. Okay. Place it there and close your eyes and just feel your breath all the way in going through your abdomen and then exhale. And I want you to literally, as you are holding, Press your finger into both these points in an upward direction. Okay, so not downward. So even we are not pulling anything, we're keeping it in the same place, but the push should be inward and the pull should be upward on both points. Okay, and just keep bringing in and out and hold for a few moments. It's like literally you are inviting all of your energy and looping it together, anchoring it together. It's a great process. And continue to breathe in and out. Do it for one more round. In. And as I talk, you can continue, but because we obviously have a little bit of a, a, you know, constraint of time and there might be some questions. So I'm going to now move on because we have about 20 minutes left. I want to do a really nice meditation for you guys. 
this is a very, very interesting meditation. It's a central flow that we work with. All of our energies literally start, you know, flowing through it. So I'm going to do part of it and which is going to be able to help you. So let's flow with that. Now, those of you who want to lie down, you can lie down. Make sure that, and I'm going to give a moment for you all to settle if you like. Make sure that the hand that you place, which is going to be your le uh, your right hand, uh, it's going to be at, at the pelvic bone space, okay, where the um, uh, pelvic bone, the pubic bone is. That's where you're going to be uh, holding your uh, left hand. Give me a second. This is not opening. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Your left hand is going to be on your third eye and your right hand is going to be where the pubic bone is. Okay, so left hand on your third eye is where we're going to start with and right hand is going to be on your pubic bone. But your right hand is going to remain for a long time on this space. So I would like you to um, make sure that your hand is comfortable. Okay. So take a moment and just make yourself very comfortable. Otherwise, you won't be able to enjoy it as much. Okay, we start from here. Left hand once again in the center of your eyebrows, your third eye. And your right hand is just below your pubic bone. Okay, hold it there for a few moments. And try and tap in. By now you understand what I'm talking about, the pulsing. So try and tap in to that pulsing. This is a beautiful process once again of Jin Shin Jutsu. And I practice it myself and um, I, I share it with a lot of people as well. It's a beautiful daily practice you can do. You can do it for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever works for you. Excellent. You can keep your eyes closed if you like, as I'm guiding you and you would probably know where we are going. Keeping your right hand exactly where it is and make sure you're not straining it too much. Move your left hand from your third eye to the tip of your nose, please. And continue to breathe in and out. Keep your eyes closed. And just feel the pulsing shift here. The whole central flow is a beautiful way to bring balance into your mind, your body, releasing tension, opening up the flow, feeling connected. It's just a beautiful, simple way to align yourself on a daily basis. Right hand continuing down below the pubic bone left hand on the tip of your nose. Some clients ask, do I put one finger? Do I put two fingers? See what feels easy for you. I generally feel more comfortable with two fingers. Some people find only their index finger comfortable. So see what's your sweet spot. And breathing in. Already you may notice that your breath would have become a little bit slower. Be in that space of letting go. Holding. And the general guideline, practice this on your own, is to wait for the sensation to settle down. Not only for the central flow, but for all the points that I've shared with you. So when you do this on your own and you're, you know, you're holding your thumb or you're holding some part of your finger, you will notice the pulsing or the throbbing. Yeah, that's another way to kind of identify it. The throbbing may feel a little bit stronger in the beginning. And slowly as you keep holding it with the intention to balance, it will settle down. Now leaving your right hand exactly where it is, I would ask you to move your left hand down towards the center of your sternum right at the thalamus point okay so just bringing it there around the chest the center sternum and holding it there 
tapping into the energies here. This is a very, very strong portal of energy. Just holding it there, finding your balance, allowing for the energies to flow. And once again, checking in on your breath. Does your breath feel relaxed? Allow yourself to be completely relaxed. Many a times you may notice that as you hold, sometimes the pulsing gets stronger before it actually reduces. So don't be impatient with any of these processes. If it's going stronger, it's because the energy was already disrupted and we are now trying to bring it into balance. So it finishes a loop and it comes, right? So just feel it slowing down, settling down. Excellent. Keeping your right hand exactly where it is. Move your left hand now into the base of the sternum. So beneath the chest. Okay, and hold your hands there. And once again, try tapping in. This is again a very potent area. All our primal emotions we feel in this space. So just giving a few moments to tap into that energy, to slow it down, to bring it to balance. And continuing to breathe in and to breathe out. Excellent. Just another moment. You may notice that whenever you do this kind of energy work on yourself, there might be a tendency of your body to kind of sway or move. Don't um, restrict that. That's a natural rhythm coming into place. So if you feel like swaying back and forth or side to side or even circling, allow that rhythm. That's very, very soothing. Very nice. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna bring your left hand down towards your right hand. And you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna place it on that root chakra spot, just at the back, at the end of your tailbone. So now your right hand finally moves, okay? Your left hand is now at that pubic bone and your right hand has moved back, like looping the energy that's flowing down back through the spine going up. And your hand will just remain on that root chakra point that coccyx area and just hold it there for another few rounds of your own breathing and in your mind just visualize the energy that has channeled down flowing down is now looping back up through the spine so you've actually initiated that flow and when this flow is active the entire body heals it feels more nourished, it feels more at ease. Your mind feels more relaxed, no matter how much tension you may be going through, no matter how much anger you may be going through. It just slows your system down into the present moment. Always remember your body is always in the present moment. It's always your thoughts, your emotions that are doing the roller coaster into the past, into the future, worrying, fearful, all of that is either before or after. So when you hold your awareness in this way, the body is literally healing because all your awarenesses are also present with it. It's a very integrated feeling. 
So stay with that for another few moments now, just breathing in and breathing out. And one thing that you can do after this is allow your hands to relax and just bring your knees together. Just close the practice with bringing your knees together. So your hands can be now on the side of your body and just for a few moments, let the right side of your knee touch with the left side. Like you're sitting with your legs absolutely next to each other, but I don't want the ankles to meet, just meeting at the knees. And breathe in and breathe out. Make your palms face upward to the ceiling if you can. And let the knees touch for another moment. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. And now just keep your eyes closed if they were already not closed. And you're not doing anything. Your hands are relaxed. Your knees are back into its natural position. Your whole body is relaxed. Just tune into your body. There may be still certain parts of your body that are still holding on to perhaps tension. Maybe it's a habit. Maybe it's pattern. Maybe it's just the way your body is habitually. I want you to notice what parts those are, if any. And to close off your practice, and you can do this every time you do any practice, not only the central flow, but for example, you're doing any other meditation. When you are completed with the practice and the body is relaxed, tune in one more time into the body and just notice where do I tend to hold the tension. For me, for example, I hold a lot of tension in my toes. So the slightest thing can make me tense up my toes a lot. So notice where are you holding the tension? Is it your forehead? A lot of us hold it in the neck and shoulder space, many in the lower back. So notice where is your holding spot. Now I want you to take your breath to that spot or those different parts. For some of us, it could be more than one. So you can go one by one. Go into that part. And I want you to objectify that pain or that tension. So give it an object. It could be like a geometric shape. It could be just a blob of energy, a lump. Give it anything. And now breathe into that space. And as you exhale, Feel that tension shrinking, melting, dissipating. And do that for a few rounds of breath. We'll do it for about three rounds of breath right now. But when you're working on yourself, do at least seven to 14 breaths on each part. Breathe into it, feel that part relaxing. Exhale, breathe into it. Visualize that tension shrinking, shrinking, dissipating, shrinking, exhale. One more time, breathe into it. Your body has the natural intelligence to heal. And exhale. And then just take your awareness to the soles of your feet, which is where our earth chakra is located. So bring your awareness there to the soles of your feet. Find that as your body relaxes, you feel more grounded. Your connection with the earth is stronger. So just feel your energy synchronizing with the earth, anchoring you, letting you feel stable. A lot of our issues, whether it's anger, nervousness, stress, fear, it comes when we don't feel centered and grounded. So just feel that connection. And you can do that even by just tapping on the floor. Just tap your feet on the floor and activate that connection. And once you have done that, feel yourself one with the beautiful universal energies above and the energies of the earth. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more time, take a deep breath in. Exhale. And one final time, deep breath in, 
exhale. And then slowly bring the awareness back to yourself, rub your palms, place it on your eyes, and you may feel a lot of pulsing in your hands now. Okay, because by now you've already worked enough with the energy through the various paths. And exhale. Okay, and then slowly open your eyes. Wonderful. So that was another exercise that you can incorporate. Um, before we close and before we take questions, some of you have sent me one or two questions privately. Let me just go over that. Um, someone has asked if we can send a recording and yeah, I think we can. And admin, if you can help me with that. I, I believe they can. They've recorded it so we can share it with you for sure. Uh, someone has mentioned how many times. So the usual rule of thumb is that whatever process you're doing, firstly, don't be in a rush. Don't try to do too many things. Stop one process and do it for at least 21 times, okay, if you're counting. And if you're not counting, you have the luxury of time, then try to tune in to that pulsing that I call that throbbing of the energy. You, as you keep trying to tune into it, you will notice the texture, the rhythm, the, 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 the frequency will start to shift. Okay, so do it till you feel very, very paused and relaxed. That would be very, very uh, easy for you. Okay, uh, Elisa, you have asked for a recording and you have posted your email address. Unfortunately, the chat will go, but what I'm going to do is I'm noting your name and I'm going to just ask that whoever registered, if we can send it to them. I hope that helps. And any questions, guys, besides that, with what we shared, what you think, if you need to know anything about it, feel free to do that. Make sure that you acknowledge your stress. Many times we just kind of believe that our, our stress is what is normal for us it's natural for us what i want you to do with all of this is acknowledge that yes i'm feeling the stress i'm feeling the fear i'm feeling the worry i'm feeling the anger whatever i'm feeling i acknowledge it and then after that i do whatever is right for me in that moment whether it's just your breath work working through the you know the meridians of your hands whether it's just using certain other um uh, points in the body or visualization that works go with that Another thing that you can do is those of you, some of you might be into crystals, some of you might be into essential oils, make that also a part of your, you know, your daily life. So sometimes say like on a full moon yesterday, day before yesterday was full moon. So do a nice crystal moon bath. Okay, just put some of your crystals in the water and have a bath. That really helps. Use some essential essential oils, though that will help you. What is the issue you're dealing with? Uh, someone has mentioned here in the chat that they feel a lot of stress in the back. So mention to me whether it's your upper back, whether it's your lower back, because the whole back holds so much energy. So if it's your lower back, it's to do with a lot of uh, stress about your responsibilities, your finances, about um, you know what, what you feel about yourself, all of that. If it's on the upper back, it's more to do with baggage. It's more to do with, you know, what all uh, agendas you have, what all you're carrying from the past, all of that. So depending where in the body it is, you can use, yeah, whole back. Yeah, so you, you, you take a lot of stress, Shivani. I can tell you that. You take a lot, lot of stress. Work with grounding. Work with the five fingers on both hands. And as you hold your fingers, visualize that the stress in your back is rising. That will really help. Even the central flow that we did, do that and keep visualizing all the stuck energy in your back is starting to release. That will also help. Okay. And um, you can use crystals if you have them. So, you know, just use um, one of the black stones, maybe a tourmaline or an obsidian and keep it in your lower, like around your feet or a selenite to just draw out all the negativity that you're holding there. So that can also kind of help you. Okay, uh, so yeah, this is just um, a simple visual here. Whenever stressed out, sit comfortably, take a few deep breaths, observe your breath, observe your body, observe your emotions. You must observe all three, okay? What's happening to my breath? What's happening with my body? Am I clenching? So maybe you hold stress because you clench too much. And even after the stress is over, your body can still be clenching. So learn to release that. 
okay then some of you may just constantly be uh, you know stressed with emotions or responsibilities tell yourself yes i am feeling very anxious about this but it's okay for me to feel at ease in the moment doesn't mean that what you're feeling anxious about has gone away but you are giving yourself more capacity to deal with it acknowledgement is the most important and then of course uh, proceed in whatever works for you okay and before we end and before we have any more questions here i want you to know that whatever practice you may do on a day to day basis it's not about how you feel in that moment it's not about okay i sat for 30 minutes or i sat for 60 minutes now my day is going to go off awesome. but it's that constant awareness so through the day be constantly aware of your emotions don't let it spiral you down stay with it work with it and that will kind of help you okay any more questions today i feel some okay so um, those who have sent me direct messages i'm happy to do a consult with you especially those who have not met before uh, you know just to discuss what it is and how you can go forward so feel free to book that illuminations can assist us i'm currently in singapore but the good news for me and i'm sure some of you who i'm waiting to meet i am finally traveling in march so i will be there on 6th 17th i think of march and i do have a chakra training that's scheduled in march as well so if you are keen to join that and those who done the training before with me online i'll be meeting you guys as well we'll be scheduling it soon okay so that we can do like a practical demo and things like that so yeah that's what we have for today thank you andrea and um i look forward to any any other questions or anything else that can be discussed on this platform and if not if it's something personal happy to kind of do a like i said a consult yes someone mentioned can we book it with illuminations yes absolutely we we can and you know they will they we will we'll do it on zoom right now and then if we need to meet i'll be there in march as well okay so thank you so much guys i think we are out of time so those who need to go can Pause. Log off. And those who have anything more, I'm here for another few moments so we can speak on it. Just want to thank all of you for the entire thing, and I hope it uh, helped you. Thank you, Gazala. Thank you so much for joining. It's always so nice to see you guys. Okay. So, by the way, if you want now, you can unmute. Yeah. Thank you, Shivani. Thank you, Kriti. really appreciate your time and commitment to be here today all of you yes wonderful grateful i'm so glad so nice that you enjoyed it all right so i have made a note and uh, we will yes rula i really look forward to seeing you as well <laughs> it's it's been a long time Okay. I'm glad Andrea. I'm so glad at least we managed. We've been trying to connect and I'm glad you could join. Thank you so much Bharti. It was I'm really so glad you could make it. Yes, it it was whole realignments and you know you have these skills in your hands but when you are going through all your emotions you keep forgetting that oh i have it absolutely absolutely and that's why it's so important to be aware so that we are not critical in that moment you know the more we know we tend to get more critical that i know so much why can't i feel better but we don't end up doing yeah. what we need to do in that moment <laughs> so oh, gazala i will miss you then but um let's see i'm sure now everything is opening up i'll be back again in a few months but you have a wonderful trip back home inshallah inshallah usse pehle nahi ho sakta usse pehle nahi ho sakta no 17 when do you come back after uh, before ramadan Oh okay so no i'm there for a short while but i'll be back i'll be back after ramadan again you maybe perhaps after eid i'll i'll try and come back uh -huh. now it's easier so we can plan
okay and the uh, chakra any doubt before that always online we can discuss yes yes inshallah and you will be giving a, a workshop for chakra balancing okay yes. yes i will be yes. i will be doing the crystal and chakra as well but that's not in march that will happen in i think uh, may online and then june on site mm -hmm. okay yeah inshallah but don't worry we'll share everything with you as the dates okay. come closer yeah. yes yes okay okay so thank you very much thank everyone you. thank you so much for your time and i do hope that you can incorporate this in your daily practice yes inshallah yeah. all right thank you Thank you. Bye-bye.